We've all heard it said before, and I've been guilty of saying it myself, and I'm starting to disagree with it, but people say you have to find your niche. I'll be honest, finding your niche is complete bullshit. Okay, well not entirely, but it's not the most important thing. And with so many people creating and talking about personal branding, you really have to understand that a niche is important, but it's not the most important thing. The one thing and the one thing only that's gonna make you truly successful is providing value. So when it comes to providing value, there's one mindset you have to have. Am I providing more than I'm getting? And I think a lot of that comes back to your ego. And in all honesty, it comes back to having a scarcity mindset, which if you're living in a scarcity mindset your entire life, you're never going to grow, you're never going to develop, and you're never going to be successful. You have to live in abundance. Because at the end of the day, everybody can eat. And if you become the person who's giving so much more than they're asking for, you're going to become a very, very successful human being very quick. And the way that this links to niching down is I think a lot of people put a lot of emphasis on, okay, if I find my niche and I just get into it and I I start creating, I start doing this and that, I'm just gonna start attracting success. When in all honesty, your niche should be the thing that you're the absolute best at with the least amount of effort where you can help the most people. And I see it over and over and over again and I fell into it myself when I was first starting out as a fitness trainer where I was so focused on, I'm gonna be the guy who builds muscle. It's gonna be this, it's gonna be that and I need to have this result with every single one of my clients. But in doing so, it limited me so much because everybody is different and everybody needs to have their own way of getting to an end goal. So once I started focusing on the person instead of the thing and how I could get them results that might not look the same way as how I would want to get my results, everything started to change. Dave Metzler has a rule and I've adopted it into my life. It's the 120 rule. Basically, if I provide $100 worth of value, I'm only asking for $20 in return. In short, provide more than you ask for. At the end of the day, you want people to leave an interaction with you feeling better than when they first started. Would it even be a Scotty Scheller video? Oh shit. That's gonna be a mess. Anyway, would it even be a Scotty Scheller video if there wasn't cooking involved? One of the greatest quotes I try to live my life by is see a need, fill a need. You need to be keeping your eyes open for people's problems. And once you identify a problem, you need to be the guy who can fix it. And if you wanna stack on top of that, if you don't know how to fix the problem, go out and find the solution. Find out how to fix the problem and then bring that back to the person and show them the value that way. So let's say you're coming to me and you wanna work for me or you wanna provide value in some way. Don't come to me and ask me, Scotty, how can I provide value to you? That's not gonna do anything because it makes me think and it takes me out of my element. What you should do is you should do your background research before even coming to me. Find out the problems that I'm struggling with. Then find a way to fix those problems. Come to me and say, hey, I know that you were struggling with this. This is what I did. I went out of my way. I found the solution. Here's the solution. Let me know if I can help you out in any other way. If you do that and you save me some time, I'm gonna hire you like that. You just provided an immense amount of value in more ways than you can even imagine. Another skill you have to adopt is if you're going to attract your ideal client, you have to live with a passion for what you're doing. If you're not passionate about it and you just show up just to do the work and you don't show me that you can stand out, there's no reason for me to hire you and there's no reason for me to work with you. I want to work with people who are truly passionate about what they're doing. I've been using these liquid egg whites for a while and I absolutely love them, but $5 for a carton? I mean, I go through these things like probably two a day. 10 bucks a day on eggs, not ideal. I've been absolutely obsessed with eating polenta in the morning recently. So if you don't know what polenta is, it's like grits, but yellow. So yeah, what I did is polenta with some berries and some cinnamon and some no calorie sweetener. And it's really sweet. It's nice. It's, you know, hot because it's nice and cool here in the mornings. So yeah, even though it's 1 p.m. right now and it's my first meal of the day, but yeah, Polenta, if you're sleeping on it, give it a shot. It's kind of like oatmeal, but a little bit more gritty. But going back to passion really quick, spend some time to really focus on your passion. What are you super, super into? What can you really put all of your backing behind? What makes you come to life when you start talking about it? If you start to figure that out, you can start attracting the client that would actually need that skill. And once you find that client, hone in on them, really figure out how you can help them, and then put that passion forward into making their day a lot easier, a lot better. I promise you, you're gonna show a ton of value and you're gonna start landing some major clients. I'm currently switching a bunch of stuff up in my studio and I want your guys' opinion really quick. So you guys have seen my backdrop before. This is my wallpaper. Uh, did a brand deal and they sent me some of this stuff, which was really cool. It was just peel off, stick it up, but it's time for a change. I used to have my couch right here that I used to do all of my shooting stuff on, but it was time to change it up. And I have that couch or I had that couch, but then I also have my actual couch that I sit on and I live on a ton. And it didn't make a lot of sense because people would come over and they'd be like, yo, it's Scotty, why do you have two couches? You know, easy, uh, easy question. I don't know. One was for content. One was for sitting on. I actually sat on that one more. So anyway, this is just completely boring. But we're gonna get something cool to put back here, like a love seat and something nice that looks really cool and aesthetic. But I'm also looking to change up the wallpaper. So I've been looking at these little tile things on Amazon, not Instagram. 
and I want to know what your guys' opinion is on them. So I'm thinking something like that. Doing a bunch of those like textile things. I'll show you what it looks like on the wall. They're pretty cool. Um, something like that behind the TV. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dope. It kind of gives like a little bit of like a little bit more texture to the background. I think it'd be a really sick background for there. So I want your guys' opinion. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think uh, or if I should do something completely different and we should just go really wild. Uh, also have this like weird curtain up just because there's a window behind there and it blows everything out. So if you guys have any like suggestions on what I should do there instead of just having a giant ugly curtain, let me know as well. And then maybe I can wrap it around to this wall and do something with this mirror as well. But that's just some updates on the studio. And um, yeah, that's about it from in here. So let's move on to the next segment. So one thing that you guys might not know about me is that I am actually building out a coffee shop and a smoothie shop inside of a local gym here, the one that you guys see me work out at all the time. Uh, so I'm gonna go check on how that's looking right now. We're a couple months out. Uh, we just got approval from the city to you know get everything going. Apparently everything's looking good, but I do have a meeting really quick. And while we're there, I am going to see my buddy, Michael Price, who is the chiropractor there. Yeah, but uh, Michael Price, Talked about him earlier in the video, told you I was coming to see him. If you are in Arizona, like I said in the car, Modern Movement, the only guy that I trust, the only guy who's fixed my shoulders, the only guy who's fixed my feet, because I don't know, I, I, I just hurt everywhere. Only guy I go to, only guy I trust. So yeah, if you're in Arizona, like you're missing out if you're not seeing him. North Scottsdale, Glory Gaines Gym, you guys know where I work out, but we're gonna start to pop me and fix me and do whatever we're gonna do that's crazy, so. Let's do it. Let's do it, all righty. All right, popped and put back together, feeling incredible, can actually move my neck now, which is sick. Now we are, drop my chapstick, that is awesome. We're gonna throw this on the vlog because we are raw. Uh, so yeah, now we are going to head home and get some more editing done, and we'll move on to our next point. So I will see you guys at home. Just kidding, we did not make it home. We actually made it to the studio, one place you guys haven't seen in a while, and you guys haven't seen Mr. Gordon Lee in quite some What's time. Up, the baby? man, the myth, the legend. So, yeah, this is just kind of where we're hanging out right now. He's got the new podcast set up, which is absolutely incredible. I'm kind of taking that as inspiration for my new place or for my new wall in my house, like I was showing you guys earlier. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to chill for a little bit right here. I think he's going to head out in a little while. But now that I have you here, we're talking a lot in this video about niches and how I don't really think you should have a niche. I think you should provide value. This is the guy that knows value better than anybody. So if you were to summarize what value truly means to you as a business owner, how can somebody really you know, come in and show you value or how can you show more value if you were to give anybody advice right now? On the spot, I would say first and foremost, you have to actually care about the brand, care about your clients winning. If you don't have that first and you only think about that relationship for yourself, it's gonna be a bad relationship. The more you care about the brand, the more effort you're gonna put into the work you're creating. I'm thinking you're talking to UGC creators. If I'm creating spec work, let's say, to try to pitch to an iPhone case company, I wanna make sure I wanna put an 120% into that video to deliver to them, to really wow them, make a good first impression, and then that will lead to more work down the road, which will be paid in just a long-term relationship versus a one-off project. So like we were talking about earlier, you have to start with value. You need to start with how can I provide the most amount of value up front and let it kind of you know snowball on itself. You need to be the guy that people go to when they have a problem. If you can fix problems, you're gonna be hired over and over and over again. But lead with value and from there, you're gonna see success. So that's our next tip, lead with value as we talked about earlier, but I think that's the most important, right? Love it. Maybe just something to keep note of. I gotta be honest. Sam Sulik is probably one of the most gangster dudes I've ever seen on the internet, and I'm obsessed with his fitness content. If you really like fitness content, you already know who Sam Sulik is. If you don't, type in Sam Sulik. Like, just listening to his voice and his monotone when he's working out and just talking, probably one of the coolest dudes in the world. Let's move on to the next point. So the next point is, 
If you really want to be a valuable individual, you have to make yourself known, and that comes down to marketing yourself correctly. Marketing yourself really means just getting out there. If nobody knows who you are, nobody's gonna know what service you can provide, and nobody's gonna know how you can help them. So you have to make yourself known. So don't be afraid to network. Don't be afraid to shake everybody's hand. Make sure that everybody knows who you are and what you do, and what you're the absolute best at, what your passions are, and how you can help them out. Because if you have some kind of skill that is tangible and is actually Actually worth something to somebody and you know they are looking for it or somebody they know is looking for it you're gonna be the first one that comes to mind so always make people know what you are doing also in this world you really have to focus on your social media you really have to focus on your content creation and with content creation too many people think that they have to be professionals before they start and that's not the case when it comes to content creation if you have a small audience this is the perfect time for you to start creating content because you don't have a massive audience watching you hone the skill of talking to your audience Audience. Hone the skill of actually getting in front of a camera and actually doing something. Once you get good at that skill, then that's when it's going to get a lot easier to be talking to a massive audience, but start small. So learn how to market yourself, learn about content creation, get out there and just start creating content. Honestly, it is the most simple thing in the world to do once you get your hands around it, but until you start, you're never gonna start. So. There you go, start marketing yourself, get out there, meet as many people as you can, shake as many hands, kiss as many babies, and get going on your content. I honestly don't think it gets much better than starting the new year with a fresh shave and feeling good. And it is actually like three days in and I have been absolutely loving the new 5.0 from Manscaped. And that is who this video is sponsored by. So Manscaped, thank you for reaching out and thank you for sponsoring a video. I appreciate it. But guys, they just dropped the new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra package and it is insane. Upgraded blade technology. It does have this new foil razor attachment on it and it's as simple as popping it off and putting on the traditional razor for the rest of your body. I've been using the foil razor attachment for my face and my neck and then I use the other attachment for my body uh, which is actually cool because now I don't need two razors but I do use this on my neck I use the beard hedger on my face but if you get the performance package 5.0 you are going to get the 5.0 you're gonna get the weed whacker which is for your nose and your ear hair which is insane so you're also going to get the crop soother and the crop preserver which is basically a deodorant as well as a lotion for your downstairs area down there along with this package you are also going to get a couple free gifts you are going to get the carry case as well as a pair of their awesome boxers so guys, if you're looking to up your grooming game in 2024, definitely head over to Manscaped right now, grab one of the Performance Package 5.0 Ultras. Just make sure you use my code SS20OFF. You're gonna get 20% off and get free shipping on all of your orders. But Manscaped, thank you again for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the rest of it. But guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for today. Remember, it's not about finding your niche. It's about finding the way that you can add true value. And from that, your niche will develop. I promise you. But guys, if you took anything away from this video, I would really appreciate your help in commenting, liking, subscribing, it really helps me grow as a creator and it helps me get out there a little bit more. It's a simple like. Just click the like button. That's all we want. But if you want to subscribe as well or leave me a comment, I'd love to talk to you below. But let me know, how are you going to add more value and what kind of value could you add? And if you could bring more value to myself, let me know. And if I can add any value to your life, let me know that as well. But guys, you are absolutely crushing it. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. 2024 is going to be absolutely incredible. A lot more value coming to you guys. So if you want to see anything, have any questions at all, let me know in the comments below. Come talk to me on Instagram or any of the social platforms and I'd be happy to get back to you. But until I see you again, Stay confident and we'll talk soon. You.